Hello and welcome to IT Chronicles 10 and Tech. We're here at ServiceNow Knowledge 18 in Las Vegas. My name is Carlos Casanova, my co-host, Kirsty McGowan. Hi, Carlos. And we're here with uh, SK from Recruit Live. Welcome. Thank you. So first, I guess, congratulations are in order on uh, Creaticon. You guys did a great job. Nice award there for, uh, for all the work you guys have been doing. Um, tell us a little bit about Recruit Live. You know, what do you guys do and um, you know, how you're delivering value to your, to your customers? Yeah, so Recruit Live was founded in 2003 as a, as a tech company. Mm -hmm. Um, we developed a product uh, called Recruit Live, um, which is a staffing and ATS, which we call an applicant tracking mm -hmm. system okay. product. Um, that's being used by several clients in Australia. Um, and we saw this opportunity uh, with ServiceNow to develop a, another product called EmployeeX, uh, which is based on employee experience. Mm -hmm. okay. So, so tell us a little bit more about you know about employee experience. We've been you know um, obviously at Knowledge 18, there's been a lot of talk about that end value to the business side. You know, and um, you know the employee experience is is part of that really. So tell us a little bit more about you know why you went down that road, what you saw from a business perspective, you know the value that you guys could uh, offer your clients, you know, and basically ServiceNow um, clients. Yes. Yeah, so. Uh, we're very excited about the future of, of employee experience. Uh, if you look at the past where employees were not uh, considered as the major stakeholder in an organization, and that's all changing now. As you can see, um, it's all about the employees as the, as the center of um, an organization. Mm -hmm. And it's all about employee experience. And, and some people say it's to do with millennial that mm. they are demanding that, yes. and it wasn't that much in our generation. <laughs> but, but I don't think that's true. I think a lot has to do with the, 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 the changes with the internet and, uh, and the social media and yeah. everything, where they become more aware of their rights and, uh, and they have a global network now. Yes. They're able to share more information, right. see mm -hmm. what's going on where, uh, where you know, there are companies which are offering unlimited uh, leaves. There, yes. are, uh, there are workplaces like Google and Apple. Mm -hmm. So all that is now being known to everyone out there. Right. Yep. Um, so this product is to take an employee through a journey right from onboarding or even mm -hmm. prior to that, yes. hiring, yep. onboarding, and, and performance management, even things like booking travel, mm -hmm. um, any function which an employee has to perform right. Right. and then take it taking it to the end of offboarding the employee. Right, right. So removing some of that friction that has been or you know, traditionally been there with, you know, as you say, getting getting onboarded could you know, it used to take sometimes weeks for someone to get everything they needed. So so employee X is going to smooth that out and and make it a more enjoyable uh, experience. That's great. Just to sum it up in if I were to use uh, uh, it is like a one stop shop. Yep. That means it will have all functionalities mm -hmm for an employee from yep. the moment they, uh, even from pre-hire, mm -hmm. from the time they, they start in the organization. And its delivery is through artificial intelligence mm -hmm. using predicted right. learning. Yep. So that means it's, gonna, it's going to be, and, and Rob will tell you a bit later, who is our chief product officer, in terms of the technology we have built it on. Um, but it's all about even before employee could ask for something, is right. the system being able to predict that right. uh, and uh, and advise them? For example, if they want to do a travel booking, the right. system be able to predict right. where they could be going, mm -hmm. um, what their uh, frequent flyer yep. number is, and which airline they prefer, and all that kind of thing. Right. So just making it a great um, experience for them. Right. right. So it's going to almost be the first port of call for employees to get if they've got questions, if they've got requirements, employee X is somewhere where they're going to be able to go and get the answers and the solutions that they need. That's correct. And as you mentioned before, in the past, it was a very mm. torturous experience yeah, when was, an employee started. Yeah. <clears throat> but now, with this application, instead of filling 50 forms when you arrive mm -hmm. in, um, it is through the, the artificial intelligence, mm. right. is able to um, make that process a lot smoother and yeah. faster for them. Right. So, so we, you know, we spoke with uh, Jen Stroud earlier, and she was, you know, we were talking a little bit about this employee experience and uh, and the stresses that employees bring their day to day. They they have you know the personal mm -hmm. stress, you know, the family issues, or, you know, whatever it is they're dealing with. And it's interesting because this seems to really meld right into what uh, what she was talking to us about how when the employees are on you know on the job, you know, nine to five, 
if they're bringing that stress and then they're encountering something internally with their employer about booking and travel, the hassle of that versus when they're outside and they go to Google directly or something else, why is it so difficult here versus internally? Mm -hmm. So it sounds like you really are hitting that sweet spot to, to really smooth out that, uh, you know, that experience, that act, uh, those activities internally as well as you know, they're experiencing outside. Yeah, that, that's very true. I uh, attended yesterday um, one of the sessions uh, from Deepak, uh, who is uh, ServiceNow's HR mm -hmm. from head. And I liked what he was saying about happy employee. Yeah. Yes. The idea yeah. being <coughs> mm -hmm. happy exactly. employee. So employees are, when they are at workplace, their experience is a happy experience. Yes. Yep. When, they come, when they want to come to workplace mm -hmm. because it's, it's a happy experience, yep. and when they leave, it's a happy experience. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah, so that I think is, is the core of creating that employee experience. Right, yeah. right. So if you're creating happy employees, and I mean that has to rub off at the end onto happier customers if you're dealing with someone who's not uh, stressed out. 100% so because with, an, with a great employee experience, it, it will result in more productivity, yes. yep. will result in employee satisfaction, mm -hmm. and ultimately greater shareholder value. Yes. Right, right. Yeah. So, so everyone is a winner. Mm -hmm. um, by making sure, and you're, you're right, I've been for the last couple of days in the conference, the theme has been about employee experience, mm -hmm. right, right. works yeah. for you, right. which yes. is the employee yep. or the customer or, or all stakeholders. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and it's, um, it's funny because, you know, again, it's that experience, it's the stress that they, that they have mm -hmm. in, in the day to day, and how that translates into their productivity. We talked about millennials. It's not necessarily millennials, but it's it's employee retention. Mm -hmm. You know, if yes. you lose employees, there's a tremendous amount of cost in mm -hmm. replacing someone. That's yeah. right. So if they're already coming on with stress and you're making it worse, and like you said, the social component of the the life we live now, and they found out, hey, these other companies are easier to to work at, yeah. and I'm doing the same job. Maybe I should yeah. you know look, look at that. Moving. Yeah. That's so. right. Well, thank you so much, uh, SK, for, uh, for joining us. It's uh, great talking to you. Again, congratulations. That's a great uh, honor that, uh, that you guys have. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Really appreciate thank your time. You. Thank you. Thank you.